Hi, my name is Tola Kay, and I'm the author of the Survival Guide series, which is available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and iBooks. This video is the second in a series of instructional films, and today I'll be talking about getting started with your new iPad 2. Basically, when you take your newest Apple toy out of its box, what do you need to know to get the iPad 2 all set up? I'm going to start with the basics and show you where all the buttons and jacks are located, and describe the function of each. Also, I'll give you several tips on navigating the screens and show you how to set up your Wi-Fi and connect your network at home. And once you have a Wi-Fi connection, you might want to check your email, so I'll show you how to set up your email account as well. Finally, we'll finish by talking about setting up the application store, locking in, and downloading a couple of apps, which will cycle nicely into my third video, which is coming soon. First, let's talk about the location and the function of each button on the iPad. The sleep-wake button is on the back of the iPad right here, and this button turns the iPad on and off. Is also used to lock and unlock the iPad. Also on the back here is the headphone jack, which is right here, and this is where you can plug in headphones or speakers. The volume controls are located on the side here. There's volume down, volume up, and these control all media volume as well as the volume for video calls in applications like Skype. And this is the side switch, and as you guessed it, it's on the side. And this switch has two functions. It can turn the mute function on or off, and it can also be used to lock screen orientation. And now I'd like to show you how to change the function of the switch. To change the function of the side switch, I'm going to touch Settings, and then I'm going to touch General. And now under Use Side Switch 2, I'm going to touch Lock Rotation. And now the function of the side switch is to lock the rotation of the screen. So I hit it here, and now when I rotate the iPad, the screen will not rotate with it. And I will put it back, and now rotation is turned back on. Now when I touch mute, the function of side switch is to mute all sounds. So when I put it down like this, all sounds are muted. When I put it back, now the iPad has sound once again. Next, I'd like to talk about some tips on navigating your screens. Firstly, there's a trick to switching between home screens. And while you can use the traditional swipe to get from one screen to another, you can also use these little white dots at the bottom here. So when I touch to the right of the dots, it goes to the next screen. I touch to the left, and it goes to the previous screen. Another really useful tip is when you are scrolling through a long list so let's say the spreadsheet, and you get to the bottom, and you can scroll back to the top, but it will take a few flicks of the finger. Instead, what you can do is you can touch the very top here of the iPad, of the screen, and it scrolls to the very top. So I'll show you again. You touch the top. This is the same place where you see the battery percentage and the time, and it will scroll to the top of the list. A final tip on navigating screens has to do with exiting an application accidentally. So let's say I'm reading the iPad Survival Guide in the Kindle application here, and I accidentally hit the Home button. Well, now my book is closed. Now, to avoid that, we can press and hold the Home button for just a few seconds, and that prevents the Kindle application from closing, or any application for that matter. The third thing I'd like to show you is how to connect to a local Wi-Fi network. You'll just need to know the name of your network and the password, which is usually found on your router. Or if you set up the network yourself, you most likely already know it. To connect to a network, touch the settings icon on the home screen. And when you see the settings screen, we're going to touch Wi-Fi. Now to turn on Wi-Fi, you need to hit the switch so that it says on. And now the available networks that are within range of the iPad are shown. I'm going to touch Home, and we're going to connect to that one. Now it's asking for the network password, so I'm going to enter that. And when I'm done entering the password, we're going to touch Join. And if the password is correct, I will see a check mark here. And my iPad has connected to my Wi-Fi network. Now that you have internet access, let's set up your email. Before you can use the email application, you need to set up an email account. To do so, we're going to touch the settings icon, 
then we touch Mail Contacts Calendars. And then under the Mail Settings, we touch Add Account. Now we're going to choose which email client we use. So I use Gmail. I'm going to touch that. And we see the new account screen. Now I'm going to enter all of this information. And when I'm done entering the information, I'm going to touch Next. And it will register the account, provided that the password is correct. Just a tip on registering the account. Under the description, the My Gmail account, this is what's going to appear when you are finished registering your account, right here as a description of the account, so that if you have more than one account, you will be able to tell which one is which. Also another tip, when you are on the screen and you're setting up your account, make sure that the mail switch is on. So if it is off, make sure you touch it and turn it on, otherwise your iPad will not receive your email. Finally, I'd like to show you how to set up the application store so that you can purchase applications using your Apple ID. From the home screen, touch the settings icon and then touch store. And now we're going to touch sign in. And if you already have an Apple ID, you're going to touch use existing Apple ID and enter your email and the password that you used to register for this ID. If you do not have an Apple ID, I'm going to touch Sign In and then Create New Apple ID. I'm going to choose the country and touch Next, read the agreement, touch Agree, and then touch Agree again. And then we're going to fill in all our personal information and then just keep touching Next on the following screens until they reach the screen and you can submit your information and it will log you in automatically. Once you're signed into your account, you can purchase applications by touching the App Store. And then we can search for an application by touching this field up here, and this brings up the keyboard. So I'm going to search for Hanging with Friends. And as I search, these results come up. So now I see here Hanging with Friends. I'm going to touch that. And it's right here, so I'm going to touch the price, and then touch Buy App. And then once you've purchased the application, it will load like this on the home page, and when it's done loading, it will appear on the home page, and we can touch it to open it. And that's how you buy applications. And those are all the tips I have for you today. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. Or click one of the links in the description and buy my iPad 2 Survival Guide. Available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and the Apple iBook Store. Thank you for watching.